In the first part of this video, we will demonstrate how to prepare the astrocyte neuron co-culture. To do this, several hippocampi from P1 rats are collected into a tube, digested with papain, dissociated by trituration, and then plated onto cover slips. The second section will show how to measure intracellular calcium dynamics in astrocytes, which involves loading of Fluo4 calcium indicator dye into astrocytes and measuring global calcium dynamics by epimicroscopy and measuring near membrane calcium dynamics by turf microscopy. By changing the illumination automatically and quickly, both global calcium and near membrane calcium can be observed almost simultaneously. Hi, I'm Eiji Shigetomi, a postdoctoral researcher from Budget Cox Lab in the Department of Physiology at the University of California, Los Angeles. Today, we will show you a procedure for calcium imaging of astrocytes. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study near membrane and global calcium dynamics in astrocytes. By changing the elimination automatically and quickly, we can observe global calcium and near membrane calcium almost simultaneously. I will show how we apply ATP to cause calcium elevation in astrocyte. I will then finish by summarizing and discussing the value of the method for studying astrocytes. So let's get started. To begin the astrocyte culture, remove the skin and skull from the head of a decapitated rat pup. Place the brain in a petri dish filled with cold dissection media. Dissect both hemispheres and remove the meninges. Next, dissect the hippocampi. Chop the hippocampi into approximately one by one millimeter pieces. Digest in papain solution at 37 degrees Celsius for 11 to 13 minutes. Remove the dissected tissue from the incubator. Then, once the pieces of tissue have settled, remove them from the papain digestion carefully and add 5 milliliters of hippocampal medium to wash the chopped pieces of hippocampi. Repeat this step, and then finally, resuspend in hippocampal medium. Triturate the cells about five times with three flame-polished, progressively smaller pipettes. Once triturated, pass the cells through a cell strainer with a hole size of 70 micrometers, and add four milliliters of medium to the strainer. Count the cells in 10 microliters of suspension. Adjust the volume of hippocampal medium in order to have 400,000 cells per milliliter. Now, prepare cover slips for seeding the cell suspension 
by aspirating laminin from the cover slips, which have been exposed to a laminin solution overnight. Before the covers can dry, plate 200 microliters of the cell suspension per cover slip. Leave them to attach for 60 minutes in the incubator. After incubation, add 2 milliliters of hippocampal medium per well. The next day, aspirate the old hippocampal medium to remove dead cells and debris and add 2 milliliters of pre-warmed fresh hippocampal medium. Maintenance of astrocyte neuron co-cultures should begin four days after plating and adding one milliliter of fresh neurobasal medium twice a week. Be sure to pre-incubate the media about 30 minutes in the incubator in a ventilated flask to equilibrate the temperature and carbon dioxide. Before studying the astrocytes, it is useful to look at nanofluorescent beads to optimize laser angle for turf. To do this, put 200 microliters of water on the petri dish and add 1 microliter of 100 nanometer fluorescent beads and mix. Look at the beads by epifluorescence microscopy. Next, look at the beads by turf microscopy. For calcium imaging, place the culture in a well on a 6-well plate filled with 2 milliliters hippocampal recording buffer containing 2.5 micromolar Fluo 4AM and 0.05% Pluronic F127 20% solution in DMSO and incubate at room temperature for 10 to 30 minutes. Remember to cover the plate to avoid bleaching the fluorophore. Remove the fluorophore solution and wash the cover slips three times with hippocampal recording buffer. Incubate the washed cover slips at room temperature for 30 minutes. Place the cover slip in the chamber. Clean the other side of the cover slip with lens cleaning liquid. And add 200 microliters of hippocampal buffer. Put one small drop of immersion oil on the objective and put the chamber on the stage of the microscope. Look at the cells using transmission light to focus and see how the cells look. Next illuminate the cells with 488 nanometers from a monochromator and determine if the fluorescent signal of Fluo4 is uniform and detectable in astrocytes. Use epi and turf illumination to measure calcium in the astrocytes. Here, fluorescent beads are observed by epi illumination. In addition to producing background fluorescence, they also display significant Brownian motion. As the angle of illumination with the laser approaches the critical angle, the laser beam is totally reflected from the glass-water interface. This total internal reflection generates an electromagnetic field called the evanescent field. This has a depth into the cell of lower refractive index of about 100 nanometers. You can excite fluorophores in this thin layer on the specimen surface. Here are fluorescent beads observed by turf illumination. When compared with epi-illumination, signal-to-noise ratio significantly increases. 
When you decrease the angle, the beam of the laser does not reflect at the surface and passes through the cover slip to hit the fluorescent beads directly. You can see a lot of background fluorescence. Now, we increase the angle again. Background noise significantly decreases and you can see fluorescent beads near the surface of the cover slip. These images show fluofore loaded astrocytes and neurons. Astrocytes are flat cells with fine processes, whereas neurons have round cell bodies and thick and long dendrites. Both astrocytes and neurons look healthy and loaded with fluofore properly. Looking at astrocytes by epi or confocal microscopy is useful to know if astrocytes are healthy and if calcium indicators are loaded into astrocyte properly. In the regions of the astrocyte that are closest to the cover glass, regions called the footprint, ATP is observed to cause a calcium increase near the plasma membrane. Hippocampal astrocytes are known to express purinergic receptors, and ATP, when applied to the bath, can cause a global calcium release. We've just shown you how to prepare hippocampal astrocyte culture and how to measure the calcium level of astrocyte both globally and near plasma membrane. When doing this procedure, it's important to remember to optimize laser angle for tau. The best way to ensure this on the microscope is to observe the behavior of 100 nanometer fluorescent beads. The simultaneous recording of global calcium and near membrane calcium level will provide us not only detailed description of calcium signal, but new insight of the mechanism of calcium regulation in astrocyte. It also occurred to us that the approach described here is useful for measuring near membrane and global intracellular calcium level in other excitable and non-excitable cells. So that's it. Thank you for watching and good luck with your experiment.